Hello everyone, TJ here. Welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at long-term or short-term planning for specifically my next shadow side. So if you're ready, let's take a closer look. So before we get ahead with this, everyone, there's something that I want to talk about. As you might have known uh, or seen, I haven't been doing that many videos last couple of days. Weekend, I really had to relax after last week work where I had to get up really early. I had to go out for exams, etc. Sunday, I decided to record together with Swag, our latest good glyphs guide. And that took quite a while. And then the video I was supposed to do Sunday, I moved for Monday. Now, yesterday... Um, whoa, sorry. <sighs> sorry for that. Now, the video yesterday that I was supposed to do, which is the one I'm doing now, the one that got moved from Sunday, I kind of got pushed off of doing it yesterday because I will drop uh, a link down below so you can see what happens when you're holding still and your car gets rear-ended by someone else going roughly 70 miles per hour. So... I decided to not do the video yesterday. I'm okay. I don't feel any head injury or broken uh, bones uh, hurting anywhere. Like uh, like there's a little bit soreness here and there, but nothing that has caused an issue. I've been to hospital, got checked up, and everything seems to be okay except that my car is totaled. So yeah, uh, I'll drop a link to my Instagram where you can see how it looks like when a car is like that. So. Make sure you stay aware and safe when you're out in the traffic and hope everyone else do the same so you don't get rear-ended like me because they don't pay attention. So with that out of the way, I want to go into what the video is actually about. So for me, I am almost done with my Thorn company and I'm looking into next team to build. And I have two options. The first one, we'll just do it here actually. And we're going to start off very strong. That is Dolguldur. The Dolguldur Frio, I'm considering building them because they are five star. Expecting them in February or March at the very latest to be farmable. And they're very good. So one thing that would talk in favor of Dolguldur raid wise. Is that they would be able along with Tibet and Begaloo to increase my chapter 4 score. And that is a short term gain. Chapter 3, they might be able to do that as well, but I'm basically gaining my um, 900k with every squad, so I don't need them for cheese there. So, but uh, And also, they're a really cool squad, they have some interesting stuff. Uh, we're just going to go in, like you know about how Feast and Binding work, so I won't really dive into that. I want to go into his actual abilities. Here, he can inflict Weaken, which is really nice overall. Heal block and counter attacks are nice as well because then you actually can inflict the weaken. So that is really good. Then here we have poison advantage to everyone. You can steal boons, transfer boons, and let's see. Does this one have any special abilities? You can inflict slow, so that's actually pretty good. So that would help overall. Then we go into our AoE, who was built like this when Glyphs came out before marquee events got adjusted. Now, this one, Days and Weak Minded, really, really nice. Especially two turned Weak Mind, really good. For Cape Troll, Chapter 2, and Days is also nice because the focus, so that could be Balrog. I don't remember if Balrog can be Days, but I believe it can. So that's good. And here there's Deadly and have Might and then also uh, can gain haste. So a pretty good character overall. So, but as you can see, I need to build them up quite a bit, especially ability wise. And it's not a full team and mostly they would have to be plug and play with something else. And my teams are doing pretty okay. So there's potential for chapter 2, maybe chapter 3 in there and some chapter 4. Definitely so. That is Dolguldur. That is one option. Now my other option is... Actually went too far. That is Goblin. So this is more long term for me. 
Dolgulder represents short term because I can use them in chapter 4 to increase my score. And maybe, maybe in chapter 3, but I don't think so. Now, the reason why this squad is the long one, because, well, we have a level 3 here, and we have to build some up. But here we have a 7 star available, and a 7 star here as well. Now, what, in my mind, counts in favor for the goblins, we're not going to talk about what you need to level and everything. Uh, I will do that at some later point down the line. But one thing that actually t uh, talks in favor is the materials used for upgrading goblins. It's very spread out they all need something different so that is very good for my resources of course essences that's okay some of them are level 50 and for goblins they can do basically almost 1.5 in chapter 1 they do need big investment chapter 2 they are top 3 team for 2 million if not the top team for that maybe Thorin is contender but I would say top 3 team for sure Chapter 3, I have seen them getting 1.5. Chapter 4, they are also doing pretty okay there. And on top of all of this, they are unlocked requirement for Thorin. So that is my two options here. And personally, considering where I am, I'm halfway to 6 on Orphus. Also, another one. When you farm Chef Kraska Orphus, you get actual some purple materials. Here you get the tokens that you need to upgrade uh, certain characters and here you get the clay I believe the purple one so you get purple ability mats you don't get anything from Dol Guldur who's not farmable yet these guys are already farmable so here uh, 210 would be for a five star so I'm almost halfway to a six as well here um, pretty good one I would have to build him up but that's okay here I have a seven star ready to go okay abilities um i have a slow available uh, and a bleed you can see here i here i have a bleed here i have a slow so that's pretty good and there's some turn meter and we know bleed is really good for chapter two where i want to increase my score to get mythical currency here we have protection not bad we have weak minded pretty nice taunt he's very fast so that's good as well always grant protection there's a goblin guard who i believe yeah he can inflict days so that's also pretty nice but weak mind is better so that's one thing where dolgolder actually edges out because there is a two turn uh weak minded and that is specifically for cape troll or also if you wanted to build for multi-squad pvp of course i think dolgolder will be better there down the line Goblin is more of an offensive team than defense. And then here, when hit, has a chance to inflict weaken. So that's pretty good because there's a lot of AoE everywhere. And having that chance to inflict weaken, only 35%, but it's still better than nothing. So, And I know he's used that 7 star. And again, another one I have available for a 7 star. So that's pretty good. Here, Orphus is kind of like being swapped out in different chapters for... Uthers down the line, so, but still, can gain deadly, have some turn meter, who also does some nice attacks, and have some crit damage, so, also pretty okay, but he's one of the more weak ones. This one, we are getting closer to 7 star, more bleed, that's awesome, bleed, and also there is attack all enemies, so that helps in chapter 1. Chapter 3 as well, if you want to attack multiple enemies, maybe you need to remove a provoke stack. Short fuse can do really, really massive um, with stealing boons and also just getting turn meter because uh, of his unbreakable. And he does amazing damage here. So that's pretty good. And here you can actually inflict inspo exposed. Doesn't work on the battle rock, but works on the cave troll. So and everyone else and then yeah jeff kraska random steal a boom prioritize great goblin that means you can give a whole bunch of what is it called unbreakable stacks in chapter 3 on great goblin for the time being and he has turn meter so there's something that works in there and i've seen them again do difficulty for pretty well protection and 
there's healing, so that's nice. There's actual heal. Again here, you get a heal when you do die. And squad member gains protection, so some of them better than others. So I'm split between Dol Guldur short term, primarily focusing on chapter 4 increase with my Harathrim. Or do I go long term with goblins and also by that extent, making sure I have a 7 star Thorin. And especially doing something that is for one chapter specifically the best of the best and can help my score overall in two other chapters. And I'm coming down on the side that you might have guessed, and that is actually, I'm going to focus on Goblins over Dol Guldur. I really like Dol Guldur, I think it's amazing squad, and it's so much fun. But for everything, knowing where I am, and especially star-wise here, with lifts, I want to build uh, Goblins first, also because that would help my Thorn company, and then go from there. Now, the ones that I want to prioritize is actually Great Goblin, Goldbirds and Jeff Kraska maybe. Those free and then do some plug and play with them because they're slow. There's a lot of bleed, there's expose and there's heal and stealing boons. So that should be pretty interesting. Maybe I can do some magic that way in the plug and play with Heratrim on difficulty free on the on the what's it called? It's called the actual um, ball rock. Yeah. I'm not fully up to speed after yesterday, so bear with me on that. But yeah, anyways, that is how I analyze and try to figure out how I can invest in the future, how to build up my squads, and then make the most use of my crystals. Again, I am kind of light on light crystals because I have been building um, light sides quite a lot, and this would alleviate that pain by having to build five members, and I have 580 blue shadow crystal so should be pretty good to go let me know in the comments down below what would you build if you were in my situation and how do you prioritize when you uh, select your future teams to build and make sure you take care and i'll see you all next video